Welcome to Jasper Active Lesson 6, Learn 2, Modifying Tables. Let's make sure we're in Office 2016, Word 2016 Core. I click on that. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Lesson 6 tab. And then uh, we're working on modifying tables. Since I've already done the Learn, I'll click on Practice. You can also redo any of the Learns by clicking on Practice as well. I'll click on Continue and that moves me into the lesson. On the right side there I will deselect these real quick and it says at this point um, uh, with the ABC insurance staff list document opened so I'm gonna look down here for the open document and I click on it and select that. Uh, note that the table contains six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's correct. Point the mouse at the left of the first row. So uh, you can see that uh, my mouse has a white arrow on it. Uh, my cursor, over here it's black. When I move closer to the letter F there, and when I move outside the table, it turns into a white cursor. I want it to be a white cursor when I select this row. I'll click my left mouse, mouse button once. That selects the entire row. And then it says uh, in step two, in the mini bar toolbar, click on the insert option, insert option, and insert a new row above the selected row. Insert above. That inserts the new row. With the cells in the newly inserted row still selected, which they are, I'm not clicking anything on my mouse at this time, uh, click on the Layout tab in the Table Tools. Okay, and uh, once that's open, uh, I want to go to the Merge group, and I'm going to select and click on Merge Cells, and that makes this one cell all together all one row. In this cell it asks me to keyboard ABC Insurance so I click in there ABC Insurance Staff List. Now uh, the table contains seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is correct, and that concludes that step there. I'm going to uh, move down to step two here. It says select the first two rows in the table. These are rows, and I select by holding that white cursor uh, on the left there of the table along with the left mouse button down and then I'm going to hold the control key down on the keyboard and touch the letter B. That bolds everything. And with these rows selected, press control E so the text uh, so the text is center aligned. So I hold the control key down, I touch the letter E to center everything. Click anywhere in the cal Kalenda Prasanga row and then point to the border between this and the next row. Okay, so this little plus here is what they want to do. Click on the plus symbol. A new row between, uh, appears between the two rows. And I can click here to also see that right here is that little plus sign that I would click on to get this row to uh, be inserted right there. Now it says uh, click the plus symbol two more times and then to type these numbers in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up and grab the title bar and drag it down. And it says to come over here and hit that two more times. One, two. So I should have a total of three blank rows in there now, which is correct. All right, um, and then it says then to type the three local numbers, 3305, 3305, which is also down in here, 3306, and then 3307. 
All right. Um, it looks like we have concluded that step, so I'll mark it as answered. Moving on to the next one. I can go ahead and close that. At this point, the table should be considered complete as all the data has been entered. However, you can improve the readability of the table by adjusting the column widths or choosing other options to enhance the contents. So, it says to point the cursor anywhere on the last vertical border of the table. Uh, when you see a drag, when you see drag the border to the left about one inch. Okay, let's click on that and you can see that it has the drag cursor there. So I'm going to go ahead and select that uh, over here. When I uh, select the table there, um, I want to make sure that no row is selected. So if any of these rows are selected, this will not work properly. So you might need to click off someplace off the table and then I'm going to select this. I also have the ruler exposed so if the ruler is not there I'm going to click on view ruler to make sure I have that exposed. Now it says in the instructions when you see uh, when you see drag the border to the left about one inch to narrow the column width. So I'm looking up here this is just short of six and a half inches so I want to drag this one inch to the left. So I'm going to go to the left uh, about to there. That's a half and that would be a full inch. Click on the table selector box on the top left to select the entire table. This is the table selector box right there. I click on that and that selects the entire table. On the table, on the layout tab under the table tools, okay, click on that. Click on the cell size group and click distribute columns. So I click on um, the table tools layout and I'm headed to cell size and I'm looking for distribute columns. That's distribute rows and that is distribute columns. And that will uh, equally distribute all the data inside the table. In the table group, click properties. And so I'm going to click here and I right mouse click and I can go to properties or I can go here and click on properties. I believe this is the correct one we're looking for up here in the top left. In the alignment area click center and then click OK. So I'm going to click center and then I click OK. Make sure you're not on row, column, cell, or alt text. You have selected the table tab. So table tab, center, OK. Well, we're done with that step, so I'm going to mark it complete, and then I'm going to click on Show Results and see how we did. Beautiful. That's 100%, and wish you the best of luck with yours. If you need to report, repeat the video, please do that, and good luck.